that's my point. So I was like, yeah, I want to go to the town now. John's like, I want to go look at a model. I'll be right there. The time is 5.54. 15 minutes. 20. All right.
So Sonic the Hedgehog basically makes fun of itself, but what the hell, they gave it a crack anyway. <laughs> the weekday cartoon featured Sonic fighting against inept robots. The Saturday morning Archie continuity was scary as hell, but still featured Sonic fighting against inept robots. And finally, the Sega canon featured Sonic fighting against inept robots and good healthy dose of bestiality. Uh, wait, aren't you forgetting something, guys? <laughs> anyway, the weekday show sucked. The Saturday morning show was awesome. And the second canon lost all credibility once they made a character named Cream the Rabbit. And when you consider that Sonic's original character design was a rabbit who threw things with his ears called Feel the Rabbit, you start to get an idea of how the minds of Sonic team work. Just think of the hidden meaning behind some other Sonic character names. Such as Knuckles the Echidna, Tails the Fox, and Fingerfuck the Weasel. <laughs> anyway, the original Sonic games were awesome, but the original but the new ones have been a little bit lackluster. And these guys have the theory that Sonic fans have had enough emo anti-heroes and inexplicable movie monster tie-ins and want to get back to the old blast process of days of chili dogs, lock-on technology, and going through entire lives at a time by doing nothing other than holding right on the D-pad and occasionally drowning. <laughs> Brian Sonic Miami Sapinski, everybody. I should point out that last little bit I had to remember verbatim because you gave me the wrong second page. <laughs> oh, oops. That was. In that case, well done. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have surpassed everything we thought you were. <laughs> I'm touched. <laughs> oh, uh, request. Uh, request, yes. Ready? Pull up three! Wow, okay, hold on. One, one at a time. Let's get this shit back up. Um, okay, uh, someone, pick, pick someone, um, out of the audience. He has a broken arm. Not someone who's associated with us. Um, yeah, right there. No, not you. Loveless. Alright. We apologize for everyone out there, Lawrence, Jay, Ben, all you people who work with us. Um, we really want the fans to be able to get their choices in. So, you know, please give a hand for all the other members of Geo 13. is uh, befriended <laughs> by college student Sobi. Ritsuka is mourning the death of his older brother Seimei, among many other psychological issues, and Sobi begins the relationship by explaining that he used to be Seimei's uh, magic partner. <laughs> Sobi tracked Ritsuka down because magic in this universe takes two people, one to cast the spells and one to be the bitch. <laughs> I tell you how the ending goes, but they didn't actually make an ending. They just filled 12 episodes with seriously messed up shit, and then ran out of money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the panel. All right, next request. Do you know where it is? 